first half of July general reading and just as a disclaimer y'all know it's general energy is fluid so um, messages may or may not apply if it don't apply let it fly don't go accusing your partner of shit if you don't feel that it's already confirming something that you already know you already know what to do again like I said energy is fluid so the energy that comes out could be the thoughts and everyday energy of your partner and not you or a family member or a close friend or anybody in your immediate environment also um even though i'm doing this for the first half it could be old energy it can be energy projection you got to understand that people of the same um people of the same element basically they go through the same thing but not at the same time so what another Aquarius is going through right now, you could have went through six months ago. What uh, what somebody going through today, somebody ain't going to see for another six months. So even though it might not resonate today, who knows? These energies could surface six months down the line. So keep that in mind. Just take these little tidbits I'm giving you and put it in your pocket. Take this more as entertainment than anything else because that's what I do. Even when the reading be bad, you know, if I don't like it, I just click off because I just be like, oh, I don't want to hear that or the energy is old. I want to hear about somebody new. But whatever we do, keep it cute in the comments, y'all. If it don't resonate, it just ain't for you, okay? Like, I got a lot of Aquarius on my uh, channel, more Aquarius than anything. So, you know, trying to pick up. Uh, a lot of energies may be difficult, but at the same time, the messages come out for who needs to hear it most. That's what people need to understand. So, I want to get the thoughts, dreams, and aspirations for Aquarius for the first half. Ooh, you ain't making no decisions, boo. What's going on? Dreams, aspirations, and thoughts of Aquarius for the first half of July, spirits. Dreams, aspirations, thoughts for the first half of July. Why do you want to say you lie? <laughs> you lie. Oh, they going everywhere. Why did they did this with Libra as well? Sorry, y'all. I don't usually drop cards when I'm shuffling. What's wrong with you? If my man was fighting. Dreams, thoughts, and aspirations for Aquarius first half of July. Mmm, dang, what's going on? Is y'all messing with a Sagittarius or a Libra? <sighs> okay, everyday life of Aquarius for the first half of July. Everyday life of Aquarius, first half of July. Of July. Okay, what's hidden from Aquarius the first half of July? Oh, God. What's hidden, hidden from Aquarius for the first half of July? Oh, my God. What's hidden from Aquarius for the first half of July? Sure, listen. 
<sighs> What's being hidden? Oh, damn, the truth? <laughs> Straight up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Aquarius. What's going on? Okay, so basically for your thoughts, dreams, and aspirations, you got not want to make a decision. Honestly, wait a minute. That's making a decision. My apologies. So you're come, you're making a decision about something. Well, something kind of got you unbalanced. You're not balanced right now. And you could be facing some legalities or you could be messing with a Libra. Or, again, you could be seeking the balance that you feel like you do not have. Since I see the scales here in the picture. So, maybe you could be dreaming of coming out of this situation of not having balance and to, and gaining that balance. Um, in your everyday life, you in the center of the reading, you have the Hierophant. You have the, queen, the King of Wands in reverse. And... You have the three of wands. So basically what it's looking like is that you waiting for a commitment, but you got somebody that's like promiscuous and unbalanced. Like you got the cheater, you know, around you or whatever. That's not really like wanting to give you a commitment right now. And I guess you realizing that. So you waiting, you know, for your ships to come in from elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because you feel like, you're not getting what you want from the queen of king of wands in reverse because he just got passion for some of everybody and you don't have time for that you looking for somebody to settle down so again you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with a sagittarius you could be dealing with a taurus um aquarius libra gemini is on the board honestly this is indicative of libra but to be honest with you, when I see the, the King of Swords in reverse, that is definitely the narcissist card. It's narcissist energy all over the board. Gaslight and lying, not being truthful, fair balance, none of that shit. And I mean, that's what's being hidden from you right now is that, you know, you might have a narcissist in your, in your midst. You know what I'm saying? You may have a narcissist in your midst. And with that being said, they, you know... They don't have they don't have what you looking for to offer you like they not ready to settle down they not really to have a solid commitment offer because not only is this immature but it's in reverse so really that mean you know typically that mean both people not ready to settle down but since the hierophant is in the middle somebody want a commitment but the other person doesn't and it's probably this energy of the king of wands and the king of wands and, and this king might be the same king, but we'll just clarify to find out. But basically, you know, it's somebody that got a lot of passion. But the thing is, is that some of everybody can get it. So, you know, that's not good. And again, like I said, that could be a narcissist that you're messing with. They don't want to settle down. And, you know, uh, this is in reverse, you know what I'm saying? But to be honest with you, the way things is lined up, like, I can just see... This being in the upright because, you know, you got basically the indication that's passionate for just about everybody. Um, and a decision is, is being made by somebody to regain the balance that they lost in this situation. So let's do some clarifying and see what comes up. So who is the queen of, who is the king of swords in reverse here, spirit? Can I get a clarifier for the king of swords in reverse, the narcissist energy? You know, who is the king of swords in reverse? Can I get a clarifier for the king of swords in reverse? Sneaky. Somebody that's up to no good. The liar, cheater, thief card. So basically, yeah, like I said, I, I could see that going on without even it going on. But that's what's making me feel like this devil should be in the upright. But maybe... Maybe this king is trying to get out of the toxicity or let go. Or, you know, they could be messing with a Capricorn behind your back. Who knows? Because that represents Capricorn. But um, if it's not them trying to cut off the Capricorn, they could either be trying to change or you trying to leave them in order to... Um, you trying to lead them in order to get victory. Because when I pull a clarifier for that... 
it's like you just feeling a lack of victory in a situation because you feel like it's too toxic and maybe you just trying to come out of that you know what i'm saying why is the page of pentacles in reverse here Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse here? Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse here, Spirit? All right. Ooh. Niggas playing mind games, yo. Whoop. Somebody's just playing mind games. Being petty. Just step, stepping on people to get their way. Trying to win at all costs. One-upmanship. That's why this is in reverse. Because somebody playing mind games. They they trying to come across like they looking for the same thing that you looking for. But they really freaking ain't. They looking out for they self. And again, this is indicative of an extra energy. Because it's an odd number. The five. Like, you know, it's going to either be two or four. But when it's five, that's the indication of somebody else being in the picture. And it's air all over this board, boy. You could be dealing with another air sign, to be honest with you. Or again, like I said, it is, you know, other elements on this board. But really what's showing up prominently is Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, and Taurus. So, take your pick. Okay, so why is the King of Wands in reverse here? I mean, I already know that part. <laughs> Shit, I just want to see if these two kings are the same energy. Somebody that ain't going nowhere. They not moving forward with something. So yeah, that can definitely be it. Why is the two of swords in reverse here? Why is the two of swords in reverse here? Mm. Well, because somebody made the decision to be happy. And I think that's you, Aquarius. You made a decision to cut the situation off, to leave behind what's keeping you unbalanced. To seek some type of justice. And that could be you just simply want a damn divorce. You know what I'm saying? Because, or honestly, it's not even a divorce. Because you want to get married... And this person don't. So you waiting for your for new ships to come in. Can I get a clarifier for the three of wands? And that's the last one. I'm going to just summarize this. Because in a nutshell, it's already showing what's going on. You just fucking with somebody that's selfish. To be honest with you, you no longer see a victory in a situation. Because this person is just out for self. They self-serving. The three of wands in reverse. Why is the three of wands in reverse here, spirit? I mean, I, I could pretty much tell you why that is. Because at this point, you just realizing that your ship's not coming in with this person. That literally, you're going to have to seek elsewhere. Yeah, you made a decision. You know what you want out of love. Right here, somebody confused because they got too many options. Ooh. Damn, is you excited? <sighs> right here, somebody confused because they got too many options. Here, nobody is confused. They know what they want to do. And it's already showing twice. <sighs> Damn. It's showing twice on the board that somebody no longer confused. This is confused. This is not confused. This is confused. This is not confused. So, twice is showing that somebody is not confused. And it's a four of wands at the bottom of the, of the deck. So... That's the thing. You want stability. You want you want those four walls of stability. You want to be happy like this couple here. You want to have that castle on the hill with your man. But your man, it, his cup is turned over. Like this love is no more. So you ready to take a leap of faith with somebody new and get your wish fulfillment. Because with this person, all you're going to continue to do is have an unbalanced family situation. And they don't want to walk away. They just want to keep on being with the trickery, manifesting more and more time to be able to just betray you. And you trying to come out of that. And they want to they want to be controlling. They want to control the situation. 
and do what they want to do. Have you, oh, this came in reverse, so my bad for trying to turn it around. But they want to have you all in your fucking feelings because that's supply for them. They ain't trying to offer you nothing. They trying to have you all worn out and on the defensive. But you got to be strong. Take some time for yourself. Go in introspection. Don't communicate with that motherfucker. Go no contact. And the next time around that you feeling nostalgic, just think about the new love that you can be receiving. That can be working in your favor. Instead of three third-party situations, you can be celebrating. So... That concludes this reading, Aquarius. Hopefully, this gave you some clarity as to what's going on and what you need to do in order to bring this happiness into your life. Because nobody want to be with a narcissistic asshole. Okay? So, see y'all in the next video.